Butterfly S is HTC's most recent flagship alongside the HTC One. It is an update to the uh, original HTC Butterfly released several months ago uh, as the droid DNA in the US. Inside the retail package, you have the butterfly itself in a protective sleeve. Underneath the top cover, you'll find an AC adapter with a extender. You can uh, also buy different extenders for uh, based on where you're located. There's also a headset alongside some uh, extra earbuds, as well as a USB cable and uh, some paperwork which includes a SIM ejector tool, which is useful for opening up the uh, SIM card slot on the top of the device. As for the uh, Butterfly S, it is an update on the uh, original HTC Butterfly. Here we have that device. As you can see side by side, the two devices look very similar. They both have the uh, red elements on the side, except the Butterfly S has a glossy paint job, which uh, is very prone to fingerprints, uh, as opposed to the uh, matte finish located on the original butterfly. Our model is the red paint job, although there are black, white, and gray paint jobs available. In terms of thickness, the two devices are very similar, although the Butterfly S is thicker, which is uh, in large part due to the hefty 3200 milliamp battery inside. When looked at next to the uh, HTC One flagship, you'll notice that the Butterfly S is noticeably larger due to its five inch display. Screen brightness and viewing angles are more or less the same. Otherwise, the two devices are very similar. Both feature quad-core Snapdragon 600 processors, although the Butterfly S does come with a um, micro SD card slot, which the HTC One does not have. To access both the slots, you'll need to open up the tab at the top. The micro SD card slot is simply inserted while you'll need to use the SIM ejector tool to access the micro SIM. Like the HTC One, the, uh, the power lock button doubles as an infrared port, which is useful for controlling TVs and set-top boxes. The two speakers are located above and below the display, while on the side, this uh, FOSS speaker grill is purely decorational. On the top, you'll find a secondary microphone alongside a primary one at the bottom, as well as a uh, micro USB port. There's also a two megapixel front-facing camera above the display. The HTC Butterfly S runs on the latest version of Android from HTC, version 4.22. This version contains BlinkFeed, which was introduced with the HTC One flagship. BlinkFeed replaces your leftmost home screen with a tile-like view of various news and uh, social networking updates. One cool thing about BlinkFeed is that it will also feature various TV highlights from the uh, TV app, which if you've configured it properly will act as a TV guide as well as a uh, remote control for TVs and set-top boxes. It works very well with uh, our Connect TV. The gallery lists uh, your videos as well as the images that you have taken with the camera. It allows you to quickly view and uh, browse through your shots as well as provide various effects and retouch filters. The camera app features HTC Zoe as well as various photo capture modes including HDR mode as well as sweet panorama. Unlike on the HTC One, this does not feature optical image stabilization but for the most part is identical to what you'll get on that flagship. Finally, the Android browser has the added bonus of allowing you to view Flashbook content, although you will have to enable it from the menu. This lets you watch YouTube videos on site as well as play various Flash games. The performance of the Quad Core 1.9 GHz processor gives you excellent performance when browsing. All of the Flash videos that we tried played seamlessly in the browser. And that was the HTC Butterfly S.